This is 1111 with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. It is Wednesday, December 22nd, 2022. It's 2222, 22, 12, 22, 22. 12, 22, 22. Crazy, crazy. Ooh. How are you? Patty, Julie, do you have your, do you have your cookies? I have cookies. I didn't bake them. I was gifted some cookies. I was gifted some Tate's gluten-free cookies. Patty Loman, Julie Luz, William D, Michael Bartoloni, Mama Grace, where are you? I need to just like hang out. And if you have three, well, come on, jump on. Julie, you jumping on? Hey, Michael. Merry Christmas soon, I guess. Is it soon? Isn't it like in two days or something? I know. I'm not Scrooge. I just, my brain just doesn't have other stuff I'm doing. So I'm, I could be, are you ready for Christmas, John? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I, hey, Carl, I've, I've got luminarias that I'll be making. I got to go to the, the beach and get some sand and yeah. How are you, Carl Hess? Come to Poetry Glam on Sunday night, please. Please, please. Please, please, please. What did I do today? Someone said, where do I start with today? Played cards with my niece. We had a socially distanced card game. That was really interesting. My mom and her fiance. And um, then Grace and I, Grace went to an appointment and I went out to Watervliet to the cemetery and kind of tidied things up a little bit. Well, all the people around us, around us, around, uh, there's a lot of maminas and sources out there and other Italian family members. And I just kind of, you know, oh, his flag is crooked and their wreath is this way. I just go out there and my dad used to do it. So I would go with him and now Mitch and I kind of have taken over. I have to, I just, Chin looks a little, need some powder. I need a makeup artist, bad, bad. Anyway, I was in Waterfleet and I was in Benton Harbor and I was in St. Joe and then we were in Coloma and then where did we go, Grace? Then we went over here and I had to pick up some stuff and you know, just doing stuff. Anyway, I have cookies and if anybody wants to jump on with me and have a cookie and a cocktail or a cookie and hot water or a cookie and milk or whatever, Julie Luce, what do you have going on? You always got something good. I know. And I bet your house looks beautiful. Can we see? Jump on, anybody? We can always count on this gal right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Pretty. I had it done and colored again. Very nice. I'm going to light her. Show us that peppermint ice cream. Is that that? Is that um the once a year peppermint ice cream that you have? Come on, come on, come on, jump on. We want to see it. Very yes. nice. Oh, thanks. I'm going lighter. I want, next time it'll be just a little lighter too. Really? Yeah. Are yeah. you are you naturally dark? Yes. I'm naturally a brunette, but now I'm more, uh, I think, gray in here, but I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I, all my friends and, and my sister, they all swore that if I died and he had roots, they'd get me taken care of. <laughs> we, we got you covered. Right. Yeah, that's what they said. They got my six. <laughs> Are we going to do one more Saturday morning on whatever you want? That's the plan. But we can not if you don't want to, period. What's the 
Jeff Metzger, perfect time. He's, he sends me a text right now. He's so funny. Okay. Hi, Jeff. Why doesn't he get on? <laughs> Discuss what? Question mark. So, because probably he's like, oh, I gotta, if I gotta check to see if we're happy, if it's happening or not. Are we doing a toast at all? I have some pomegranate juice here and I have some tequila and I can't find my cool glass. Well, I was going to make a margarita, but I didn't go make it. So I have water. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I'll drink my pomegranate juice with you. There you go. Well, I have that, but it's in the other room. So, and I have I'm my. I'm not a fan of the. Oh, you gave me. Did you give me some palm? Didn't yes. I leave the house with palm? I'm There's not a more. fan of the cherry pomegranate. I like just pomegranate juice. No, mm -hmm. it was plain palm. This is all that's left. Except for the few I hid for my grandson to put out for Santa. So I did buy some stuff today to make pecan crescents and my kringles. Oh, what is that? It's Here. a sweet, it's a uh, gluten-free Tate chocolate chip cookie. And this one is, let me get a light here. Oh gosh, that light's terrible. This is the green one you won't eat. <laughs> this is my salad for today. Okay. Oh, this is so good. Mm, this is so lemony. Mm. And it's interesting because it's green. But, but it's, it's lemony. Lemony, it's just food coloring. But, and you can taste the lemon cello in here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Neighbor, have you ever had a Tate's gluten-free chocolate chip cookie? Mm -mm. I just, and she, when she said, I got you something. And I said, what? She goes, I bought you some cookies. I go, oh, I probably can't eat them. She goes, yes, you can. And really, I shouldn't be eating them right now. But I went, you know what? I've already been given cookies three times. I haven't been able to eat any of them. Now I can eat it. I can turn this a little bit. Oh, I'll give terrible. you one. I'm gonna turn this off. It looks terrible. Okay, it's better. really you didn't go get a cocktail. I was waiting for somebody to have a cookies and cocktail with me. Water. Melanie, 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 Melanie to more Melanie, Melanie, Melanie to more Melanie. We're eating cookies. Mm -hmm. Suzanne, we also have some cocktails or water or whatever. What was dinner? My dinner tonight was, um, oh, I did have some salad and some green beans and cookie. I didn't have much for dinner because I was doing other stuff and then some stuff happened and I couldn't eat. We had a really good dinner. It was very good. What did you have? We had, um, well, I had a, a nice salad, a, a nice salad. And um, the taster made uh, what he calls uh, Italian chili. <laughs> what? He makes an Italian chili. What he does is he puts, he, he browns uh, like hamburger, 85% hamburger. And then he adds his um, Italian seasoned, to make crushed tomatoes. Interesting. And then he adds white kidney beans. It's very good. And then we, had, yeah, it was very good. And then we had um, Italian bread with it, a piece of Italian bread. Soak up the sauce. Soak up the sauce. Absolutely. That's what I should be drinking. <laughs> What the sauce? Mm -mm. Absolute. <laughs> well, you know, probably tastes good with the limoncello cookie. I should have made a limoncello. Oh, uh, that's mm -hmm. what I should have made. I had to buy a new bottle. You did? Yeah, I, I had. I stopped at High Highlands and bought a new bottle. I said I need. Dasani's limoncello. 
The guy took me right to it. I said, that's it. Give me a bottle. Because <laughs> if I'm going to make more cookies, I have to, you know, I, I overdo it a little bit because I just like that flavor. Did anyone watch Wheel of Fortune last night? Yes, I did. Where, where the woman was too, was too late in giving her correct answer at the end? Yes, yes. You saw that? I, I thought it was terrible that they didn't give the answer to her. I know. It's all over the place. It's all over Twitter and yeah. I don't use Twitter, but I get it on Facebook. They're saying ban Wheel of Fortune. Don't Pat Sajak, how dare you? I really thought she should have that, but and they came back on and said the rule, the rule, the rule. Well, she said the thing correctly right at the very right. And, but she didn't say it all together. You know, that I, I thought that was totally unfair. They should have totally given that to her because I watch all these game shows. I just watched The Chase tonight where they won $660,000. What? It's called The Chase. It's with those, it's, it's with. The big heavy set guy they call the beast and Ken Jennings and the high roller, the one who won oh, it's Buffy Morocco. No, not her. That's that's different. This is they're all on the same, all different shows. There's like yeah. seven people and they do like 12 shows. Right. Well, this was tonight the guy who was the big high roller from Las Vegas. He was the one that uh lost. Six hundred thousand dollars. Six hundred and sixty thousand dollars divided by three people. It was one of it was one of the most spectacular games that they've had on this past season, and um, uh, he he made a couple real. He you knew as soon as he said the word he went, oh, you know he's yelling and cursing himself, and um, yeah he made several bloopers that. Uh, but these people answered th their questions. They answered every question correct all the way down, all, th all three of them. And the one girl, she went for the $300,000. And yeah, the other one was 80, 80,000, 90,000. So it was a total of $660,000. So they each went with 220. Yeah. Carl's been okay. making cakes. Huh? Carl has been making cakes. Carl, what kind of cakes has he been making? Just he's not making cookies. He's making cakes, he said, huh? We all we need to hire you to to do a um who were the three people? Sorry, I missed it today. Gracie wants to know who the three people were. Oh, that one. Hi, Ellen. Oh. We're eating cookies and having cocktails. So if you're having a cookie or a cocktail or ice cream or something, feel free I'd to join to, in. Yeah, I'd have to check the uh, Mama Grace. I'd have to check I, the three people. Um, I don't know their names. Per se. One was called Diva. And who was the other one? Uh, I forget her name. The one who won the 300,000 was, was really good. She knew everything. So, yeah. But uh, so is it any Julie? Aren't you coming on oh, with your coming on? We're abandoned with the peppermint ice cream thing or something. Oh, uh. this Ellen. Thank you. You too. Merry Christmas for sure. Woo. 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 I don't know. I'm sort of. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and eat and drink and I guess I could pomegranate tea and tequila. I could eat the other cookie then. The yeah. other cookie. Show us the cookie. Wait, let me let me put you on speaker so you can see the cookie. You can really get a good look at that beautiful <laughs> And I'm not even drinking. Let me see if I can get the light on it. It's got red on it too. It's got red on the corner. Hold on. There we go. Beautiful. Here we go. It's the All lemon the water. Ladies and gentlemen. Julie Lou 
Bruce in the house. Wow, Carl. Banana pudding layer cake. Julie's on vacation right now. Hello. Hi, Julie Luce. Unmute. Unmute. So Carl made a banana pudding layer cake. Oh my God, does that sound good? Unmute. I I couldn't find it. My icons wouldn't come on. <laughs> it was Henri. Oh, well, it's the house. It's all decorated. Oh no! It well. I can't find most of my decorations, so it's it's not very decorated. And I was bad. I um, ate the ice cream before I got on. Can you show so them the container? I'll show you the that container. Was the <laughs> that was the carton. Yeah, so there's the carton. <laughs> what kind is it? Uh, it's, uh, well, it's um, Save Mart's Sunnyside Farms, and okay. it's uh, peppermint ice cream, and it's got uh, red and green specks in it. I so see. I like dryers the best that just has the the red kind of I pink like in it. But I I've not been able to find it here in Fresno this Edie's year. Dry, is it Edie's or dryers that has the uh, really good peppermint? Is it dryers? I think it's, it's dryers. Yeah, yeah it's, it and comes out for like a month. Yeah, and and, yeah. I am not finding it anywhere. So I'm a great anyway. says hi, Julie. Oh, that's so sweet. Hi, Mama Grace. So this is my, um, well, my, yeah, my little bit of decorations. I'll cool. turn on a light. Bye. So there's my, my little tree with the, you know, the dollar store um, little ornaments on it, silver and red. <laughs> and, and then I couldn't find my tree skirt. So if all else fails, you get two placemats and you just kind of make your own tree skirt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Anyway, and then my little white bird cages that I've had, and then I just put the the faux flowers in them. So there's my my little. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and then, um, well, I mean, a year, year and a half ago, I had showed you my great grandmother's Havlin china, and the. Um, the china cabinet. Well, I have not rescued my china and or unpacked it. It's not even here. So I found a few other Christmas decorations that I had in a box. And so I did something completely different and I put two shelves in and this is what I came up with. So I'll open up the case maybe so you can see it. And I don't know, can you see it? Yeah. So there's a, um, let's see, a porcelain, two different porcelain Santas, and there's reindeer, and now there's a cat in the, <laughs> and now there's a cat in here too. <laughs> oh, funny. So anyway, that was my, my different decorations this year. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so I think so. You can't rescue them. Are they? They're still in storage somewhere. Um, they're actually. Thank goodness, they are at my friend's um house. I took them over. Uh, I think in May of this year, I boxed everything up and took them. They're in. She has a separate living room, and so they're put away in her living room. And uh, good thing because some things I'm finding in my garage that, um got moved um didn't survive they Ooh, I have yeah. like whole cartons of uh pump you know ceramic pumpkins and things that didn't quite make the no. the move yeah so I'll walk you outside I don't know if I can get the keep the cat away let's see I'll just walk you outside real the quick cat and go outside so no the cat does not go outside I'm trying better to make sure the door yeah. right I, I, yeah. I have a a spray bottle of water next to the uh, door to encourage the cat not to go outside. So I don't know if you can see, but this is my front door. 
Oh, yeah. It's and it got a little a wreath that with some lights on it that come on. They're, you know, battery operated. And there then I is. have a little uh, snow, um, my door. Let's see. Can you see the snowman? Yes. So it says snowman melt your heart and then some little battery lights on it. And that was, the snowman was made by a teacher that I worked with, I don't know, 20 years ago, I think. And I, I've just taken care of it. It's out of plywood. And then he painted the front of it. I don't know what you can if you really see cute. it very well. So he's kind of cute. Very cute. It's a little breezy tonight. So I have a, a, um, a Snoopy flag that I hang from the banister up above and then just some the door again and then some just a little strand of lights because there's not a lot but I'm surprised it's as breezy out here as it is tonight. <laughs> and are you getting yeah. any rain? Yes, uh-huh. And we've been getting some rain since this afternoon. So that's nice. I'm trying to get in without the cat going out. <laughs> that he got out one day and I just barely caught him by his, not a good thing, but I caught him by his tail. <laughs> so, but he was, he was headed, headed out. And then this will, he'll want to, you know, it's, you, you improvise, right? So this is my patio and I strung some lights on my little patio also. I don't, you probably can't see much of that, but, you know, so it just gives me a little bit of cheer. I keep the, patio um blinds open so i can look out and, and see those and just it's a little festive for me <laughs> and what about the neighborhood um some of the neighbors have lights up so that's really really kind of nice some do some don't and then this was my dining room table so i got some placemats and made the table a little festive too so there's my little my little theme <laughs> And little dollar, you know, dollar store things all over, like my Santa ho 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 and <laughs> fun stuff. And this is where I've stuck my my grandmother's secretary. So as the few Christmas cards have come in, I just stuck them in the in the little secretary window. And this had been, I don't know who gave it to my mom, but this had been, it's in like one of those big embroidery hoops. Oh, and yeah. then uh, somebody had done so I just saved it and I just put it there. So there you go. There's Julie's decorations for this year. <laughs> do they do any type of like how they gave you an award? For um, this, I think they did a random drawing on the 16th. They were going to pick, I don't know, two or three people. And I didn't hear anything. So I, I guess I didn't, I didn't get it this oh. much. But I think they have to share. You know they need to spread it around. Yeah, they oh, there goes the, the new the new gal in town. Right, award, <laughs> Halloween and Christmas. Yeah, right? yeah, we we can't have that. <laughs> but I did. Um, uh, so well after the drawing, you know, because I didn't want to influence anyone, I did take. Um, I was at Costco and I got uh, a a box of um, assorted different cookies. You know, sugar cookies and. Um, it was a nice assortment of different types of cookies. And um, so I, I made out a Christmas card for the three people that worked, the uh, maintenance kid and then the two office girls. And I took it over and um, left it with them because, you know, I just think I'm very happy here and they've made life, you know, fairly nice mm -hmm. and they're always very pleasant. So I thought that I'd just do something, you know, for them. Okay. So. Yeah. Did you bring them fun Fetty cookies? No, I didn't. I didn't do homemade ones. Okay. Um, but uh, Justin, Justin was the one that made his fun Fetty cookies for work yesterday. So that and was fun. So that was, they use the cake mix for the cookies. Yeah. So let's see if I have. Um, I'm not. I'm going to try not to show you my kitchen because there's stuff everywhere right now. Oh, I know. I bring it bring it home let's see so yes i'm in the dark again so let's hear this and let's see where and i saw that i was in the um, oh there's even funfetti chocolate i haven't tried that one there's funfetti uh the pancake mix that the girls and i did 
I know it's dark. Let me get this other one and then I'll show you. And then he had to go online because apparently my cookbooks are still in storage and I have the actual Funfetti cookie recipes. So they went online, they being he and his girlfriend. So here's the Funfetti cake mix. Crazy. And then, um, so basically all it is, is you use the cake mix and I think it's one third cup of oil and maybe mm, a half a cup or a cup of um, water, not much. And so it's a very stiff, you know, workable. You roll it up in a ball and then you take, I always use like an old fashioned glass, you know, so it's, it's nice and round and flat on the bottom. And then you put a little flour on the bottom of the glass and then you press the um, ball into uh, you know the cookie shape and then you bake it for like six or seven minutes it's not very long and then you let them cool and you can frost them with you know assortment depending on the season you know i've done it for valentine's day and use pink frosting or um, saint patrick's day and green and then christmas we usually just do the vanilla frosting with the uh, um, red and green sprinkles whatever Careful you have the green i hear that the green food coloring can be kind of wild <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. I, I heard that it can. I'm kind of curious. That so, um, does it does it make your mouth green? No. Mm -mm. Nice. Really? See for me. Yeah, that's amazing. Sure. That's awesome. <laughs> but how are your toes? Who's One toe? toe? I still can't get the green off of it. I scrubbed and scrubbed and even used bleach. Did my she throw food coloring on her toes? Yeah, my sandal too. It went down because oh, I was wearing a green food coloring incident yesterday. Oh, yeah. oh I missed it. Before the show. Oh, well, it was 10 minutes before showtime. Uh -huh. It was a disaster. I even oh. had it on my, my blouse. and Oh, no. Well, it yeah. washed. Yeah, it washed out of my blouse. Oh, that's good. So you it had a all, slight... Uh, Slight oh. wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> well, and it was all over the counter, and no. you know the tasters running for bleach and <laughs> clean the counter. It ran down the front, and you know where the microwave is. There. Yeah, it yeah. Ran yeah. Down oh, the microwave inside the microwave, and in between the little <laughs> slats. I said, "What the hell? I've never seen anything." It was like. Wherever there was an opening, this green dye went. It was just horrible. Oh, wow. I was frazzled before we started making cookies. I bet. And, That'd do it. Well, and then, of course, I dipped my cookie in the green, and then I went like that, and Jenna went like, like, she said, <laughs> like, dude, you're exaggerating. And she's <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not eating any green cookies. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Green, green m ms or cookies for me, please. Mm. Oh, I, I bought the m ms and the antler, pretzels, antler uh -huh. things so the kids can make their reindeer cookies. That'll be fun. How yeah. Great. And yeah. Julie, will you be with your kids? Uh, yes, I am. Reagan was so cute. I went over um, for a couple hours today and um, stayed with them. And Amanda was going to run some errands. And then because um, Josh, uh, my son has already moved um, for his new job. He's already moved north of Sacramento. Mm -hmm. And and he hadn't been home since Thanksgiving week. And so um, when Amanda came back, she had a gift certificate and she asked if I would mind watching Reagan a little longer and she and Charlie were going to go get their toes done. And I said, well, of course not, because that means I get to play with Ray longer. And um, Josh was supposed to come home, I think maybe tomorrow night. And they, they weren't sure at, at first, you know, when he'd get to come home. So um, he'd been, I think he'd been texting Amanda and she wondered, you know, well, when are you going to come home? And he said, well, where are you? And um, he surprised them. And, you know, everybody's got their masks on. And so he shows up because it's close to their home. He shows up at the salon and he walks in. And first, um, 
Charlie kind of looks at him and she does that, you know, like the kids do when their, their service parents have come home from being deployed. Mm -hmm. And she does that double take, you know, and there's her dad who she didn't expect to be home yet. And then finally, Amanda saw, um, saw him too. And then Reagan was so excited when he got home. I was excited when he showed up at the house because I didn't know he was coming either. And they have a, a senior dog, you know, they've got the three dogs, the two youngers, but um, Echo will be 14 on um, January 1st. And she's been moping. She's, um, she's getting up there and she's having some health issues and um, uh, her vision's like pretty much uh, precarious at best. And Amanda said that she just lies down in the kitchen in front of the door that goes out to the um, garage and just lies there, you know, like she's still, she's waiting for him to come home. And, oh man, today she's lying on the couch and he's, you know, talking to her and she's finally realizing that it is actually him. And she rolls over on her back and she wants her belly rubbed and she was a happy dog. So... Yeah, that was real cute. So, but um, Reagan did inform me today that yes, I am coming over for um, Christmas Eve and I get to spend the night with the girls. Wow. So, yeah, so she was, she was excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll celebrate Christmas um, with Justin and his girlfriend, probably Friday morning. Um, Nikki will come over for a little bit and then, um, they're going to my youngest son and his family in Colorado the day after Christmas for four or five days. So that'll be fun. Yeah. So um, Justin hasn't seen his brother for about three years. Joey's not been out here. And I don't, I don't think, well, I'm, I don't think he's ever met their youngest little girl. So that'll be kind of fun because she's not quite three yet. So he hasn't met her yet. But that'll be, that'll be fun. I'm just a smidgen jealous, you know. <laughs> so, well, but they they'll have a Zoom with you. Pardon? They'll Zoom with you. You'll see them. Um, yes, I hope to do that. Good idea. I had, I'm hoping that I will. <laughs> that would be nice. Every once in a while I do. I haven't since the 1st of December. Joey's a geologist and he works for a company, um, that drills on private land for oil, those big giant oil derricks that are, um, it's a pretty scary situation. But anyway, I guess um, he's, he's been working um, quite a bit. Usually their shifts are 12 hours and it could be, you know, start at three in the morning and you work till three in the afternoon or vice versa. And um, I guess they had one person, um, was ill and then another person quit. <laughs> I don't know. And so Joey was doing a lot more um, on site work than usual. But what happens is they go out, he goes out to the, um, the, the derrick itself and there's this giant platform and you can't touch anybody. You can't, you don't shake hands, you no know physical contact because there's enough static electricity that you can blow the whole operation mm -hmm. and um you know in the movie oklahoma where you see the big oil gusher and everybody's all excited that's a no-no an absolute epa no-no you don't want that ever to happen so um anyway but he'll go out and and when they drill then he takes the core sample and he takes it back he has a laboratory and a living uh, trailer on site and then he has to run the test and then go back out and tell them, you know, where they are, how much further they need. So it's, uh, it's kind of a crazy deal. But anyway, the, the best time, I'll, I'll give you one more story and then I'll stop. But um, they were in uh, uh, far eastern Colorado and it's, it's flat out there and it can be kind of deserty and get pretty warm. And they have a crew that goes out and puts the, if they are lucky enough to have the trailers, we'll put trailers and set up the camp and everything because sometimes they're very remote. Mm. Well, they weren't paying attention to where they set it up. And when the crew gets there, they'd set it up on a rattlesnake den. Not good. So, and you can't, yes, you can't have the crew come back that, that set it up 
to relocate and Joey had sent us a picture. There must have been 30 rattlesnakes that they had oh. killed and then just stretched out in a line. And he said, you did not walk anywhere without your boots and a shovel. Yeah, no fun. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so there's my Christmas story, right? <laughs> yeah, so. Well, that's, that's big. That was big. That's intense. Yeah. I, I'm like, yeah, I've seen a couple of rattlesnakes in my life. That's enough. Yeah, I, I you know, at the zoo is close enough for me. <laughs> Hang out at the lake port, you'll get some lake. Yeah. So oh. I think just to put this out there, I know I did it. I did it for Mexico, but um, sometime this summer in 2022, I will be performing in Michigan for seven nights in a oh, row. Wow. And, and it's a really beautiful part of it's northern Michigan, uh -huh. not really high up, but up near um, Traverse City. Mm -hmm. And we do seven nights. And I was thinking, I think it would be really cool to get a crew to come for two of the nights or five of the nights or seven of the nights. You don't have to go to the show every night, but we would uh -huh. all stay in the same hotel uh -huh. or campground. There's even campgrounds. but. Oh. Stay, stay in the same area and meet up there yeah william just said we can meet up there so i don't know I, I said to him i don't i don't want it to be in august because i know julie wouldn't have an opportunity to do it because you're at dinky but well maybe, or back in school let's see back in school. I, right when i think this year my dinky time is june oh i think that's yeah i think i'm 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 june so we the one sister makes us rotate every year so last year i was august this year i'll be june and next year hopefully i'll be july the optimum month <laughs> yeah. well i'll try to get this in july then so patty you know it could be a fun fun hang every it's a different performance venue every night very nice one night it's in baldwin and then another night it's in cadillac and it's seven uh -huh. nights straight of really high quality musicians it will either be with the charmers or with rolf uh-huh and then we there's a hotel that people stay at there's two different places one of them's more of a high-end golf place that's where we did uh -huh. the bonfires and stuff oh, and this right. other one's more chill and uh -huh. but i think it would be kind of an and and not far from like lynette and william are within a couple hours of there too oh, wow. so. Yeah, trying to make it happen. Very nice. I'm glad that, I mean, you know, uh, San Pancho kind of saw what was happening and pulled mm -hmm. out early because now things yeah. are starting to happen. So I want you guys to stay safe this week. Yep, yeah, we're staying, staying safe. I was yeah. in, uh, where did I go? I went to everybody's uh, fully masked, you know, uh, even people that weren't masking, you know, had gotten a little more relaxed. Um, are being really diligent and and like the grocery store and um, I think I can't remember if Target had the sign up or not. I'm pretty sure they did, but they have signs at the store, you know, saying that we're on a, a mandate again from December 15th through January 15th. That's a statewide mandate, and so people everywhere I go, people are being really good. And in fact, I went in and, and bought it at Target. Specifically, went there and bought a new two pack of two different um, face masks because you know everywhere I go the mask I'm wearing says Fresno Unified on it and they're oh like do you work in a school it's like oh am I wearing that one again <laughs> yeah get some get some k95s I got some colorful yeah. ones <laughs> an interesting yeah. thing happened today there's a my favorite restaurant in San Francisco is Zuni which uh -huh. is Market Street and San Francisco Zuni Cafe and Cassava will now require diners to show proof of COVID-19 booster uh -huh. to inside. Uh, I, They're being very safe, you know? Yeah. They just don't want to have any, they don't want to have anything happening. So right. I, just, I just want you guys to be safe with your grandkids. Yes, thank you. Class. We very much appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, very much. I'm the gonna, girls are our home uh, Amanda was off today so they're not even at daycare the rest until after oh, uh, vacation that's so yeah so they're home so that's good 
And Patty's yeah. going over to your grand grandchildren when Friday on Christmas Day, but um, they they um, I I hope they don't come back with anything because uh, they're let's see the oldest one is vaccinated. She, um, the two younger ones are supposed to go and be vaccinated. I'm yeah. not sure if they got their first one or not yet. Uh -huh. But um, uh -huh. last time they came back from there, one of them had COVID. So, mm -hmm. it was, yeah, I'm yeah. hoping that they're being safe over there. And uh -huh. um, But that's the only place we're going to go. I mean, I've been in and out of stores, but I'm, uh -huh. I've masked and, sure. you know, yeah. I go get my nails done and they're all masked. Everybody's right. masked, you know. So, yeah. Um, are you fine if you, you hear somebody that sounds like they're going to start to sneeze in an aisle, you turn around and you go the other way? <laughs> oh, I just, yeah. I freak out. I look at them like, don't sneeze at me. Yeah, you know? I, know. I, just, I just turn around and I go the other way. I'm not Order your your food and pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Hold your breath as you walk by somebody, you know, in your mask. And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and they're and they're usually oblivious to you know I'll chuckle you know and it's like <laughs> oh come on don't you know what year this is my God there we would just kind of get after a, a couple of the kids you know they're they're not thinking but they needed to sneeze sometimes at school and they didn't want to sneeze in their mask so they kind of lift a little bit then they sneeze and then they put it back down. <laughs> <laughs> great <laughs> that's just great <laughs> hey, i see where this is going all right you ladies have a letter for me i'll sing two letters if you do oh, what did today. i i just want to say that this morning we had the j and the l and the c and i went wait those are my initials <laughs> oh, cool. that was pretty cool so patty pick a letter well my initials are p-a-l so <laughs> there you go -L. Patty, did you get your package yes i did thank you the cards are beautiful they're beautiful oh. very very nice nice quality nice stuff oh uh, i was very pleased with them and i got the um CD. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but it's the same um, CD, but yeah, it's a different different cover. Yeah, well, it must be operator air. So I'm gonna see what I'm doing well, wrong. Sometimes the CDs just don't play in certain CD players. Well, it's a car. It's a it's an older car, but it, you know who knows? Uh, maybe there's something wrong with that. You know, because I don't usually play CDs too much so maybe it's getting older or something but uh yeah no that's funny Julie but yeah no I I picked letter yeah P -A -L. so just take your pick <laughs> oh Patty she's my pal oh Julie you're my pal and I'm so happy that you two are here tonight and things are out of sight. And I will drink my palm and it's gone. Drink my tea, yes, it's gone. Drink my tequila, oh, it's gone too. So P-A-L, stay safe and be real nice. Stay healthy, oh yes, come back once or twice. And I will say to you, all of you watching here, Julie Loops is in Fresno, California, and PAL Patty, she's in Barrington, Illinois. I'm in Michigan, I'm craving soy, so I'll just go and find some joy now. So, from your thoughts, make them pretty. And make them all about living pretty, yes, I'll say from your words, make them powerful, adorable, and loud. O P A L, I say, yes, I'm gonna play, and then I go to the heart, and I'm gonna start from the L. I always wanna say, it all comes from love and the a i know it's always so fun 
always so fun to hang with you two here and for the p make it make it make it a promising heart from patty and julie and thank you ladies very much thank you jenna very much You're welcome very much see you tomorrow maybe? yes hopefully. tomorrow thursday hopefully um hopefully nothing going on <laughs> Maybe I'll wrap something. That would probably be a smart, a smart Rain, wrap. <laughs> my friend Rain, I love you. I love you. Please come back, Rain. Oh, Rain, I was just saying goodbye. Come back. And well, you might have to stay longer. <laughs> Rain. Do you remember Rain was on, I think the first, second night, maybe first or second yeah. night I was on the show. Rain, girl. Rain, rain, rain. I'm going to call you. Blame it on the rain. I love you. Rain Thomas, oh, she's a talent. Yes, she is. And I'm hanging up now, and I love you so much. But ladies, ladies, love hard. Real hard. Real hard. Real hard. Good Thank night, everyone. Bye, Patty. Bye, Julie. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Night, Patty. Good night, Julie. You too. You sound like the Waltons. Nighttime, <laughs> boy. <laughs>